What's up guys? You guys know Dexter's Laboratory, right? More genius, weird German or Russian accent, Didi who was always on that BS. And of course, that giant laboratory in his room. Thanks to that big brain of his, Dexter has a library of inventions. And today, I wanna to talk about some standouts. Please note, I'm not saying these are his best inventions, just that these in particular, you can tell he was really putting that brain to work. So without further ado, let's get into it. Up first, we got his time machine. Now Dexter has created a couple machines with time in mind. His mechanical time decelerator slows down machinery and his time expansion helmet speeds up his personal time, basically giving him super speed. So Barry Allen had to get struck by a lightning bolt and Dexter just had to invent something. That's not fair. That aside, it was with his time machine that he really gripped time by the balls. Now Dexter used his machine to bring back a caveman. It was used in a situation involving Dee Dee and a portal to another dimension. But its most important use would be in the movie Ego Trip, which is basically Baby's first endgame. So Dexter got attacked by some robots who were there to destroy the person who saved the future. And after he took care of them, he wanted to see just how cool he was in the future. So he would jump from timeline to timeline, meeting different versions of himself. But here's the crazy part. After the adventure, nothing bad happened. I mean, there was a little issue of him getting back home and seeing himself battle the robots, but other than that, stuff was solid. The timeline wasn't being destroyed, he wasn't seeing variants of himself popping in out of nowhere. Stuff was cool. Now this can all be chalked up to, well, cartoon things, but if we put just a little bit of logic to the situation, a nine-year-old figured out time travel. Hell, dimensional travel for the most part. Dexter did something that took others in their 40s and up to accomplish. That is insane. Up next is the molecular makeover machine. I'm talking about the molecular makeover machine. You ever wonder what life would be like if you looked like a certain person? Like if I looked like Goku, I might not be able to shoot a Kamehameha, but I could walk around knowing nobody could beat me. He not beating Goku! With this machine, Dexter can do that. In a pilot episode, Dexter had a hydrocosmetic accelerator, which was only able to alter your age. But in the episode Sister Mom, that would change with the creation of Triple M. So there was a parent-teacher conference at school, but Dexter didn't want his mom to attend. So he thought the best course of action was grabbing Dee Dee and transforming her into mom instead. I know this doesn't sound like much, but consider the fact that Man Dark went into this dude's house, dressed like his mom, and no one could tell the difference. Dexter's dad even got a grip on the booty and was like, no, no foul play here. Dexter Dexter didn't need to do this to deal with the conference. Hell, he didn't even show any like signs of DNA from his mom to be able to pull this off. He just did it. When this is done in cartoons, it's usually minds being transferred or magic spell being done, never a whole body being created. This is basically shape-shifting being handled by somebody else. This is a cheat code of an invention, but I will say, it's crazy that Dexter can affect the human body to this degree, but still hasn't found a cure to blindness. Bruh. Like someone explained that to me, that doesn't add up. And finally, we got the multiformic megabyte. Showing up in the final episode of season two, this thing was quite a sight to see. So there's this fake ass Godzilla attacking and nobody, not even the Justice friends, Monkey or Dexter can take it out. So Dexter finally decides to reveal his lap to his parents so that they can take it out together. And then we get this sweet ass theme song. So after a little montage with vehicles combining, we get the final product. And I know we've seen this kind of thing in Power Rangers and Voltron and Transformers. Gundam. Six hours later. Evangelion. Symbionic Titan. That one episode of regular show. We've seen it everywhere. But I have my reasons on why I chose this over say a Robo Dexo or even a Dexo Transformer. Building a giant robot is all fine and dandy, but to grab four vehicles and make them fit all together like puzzles and then add features on top of that, that's impressive. I know building a vehicle that not only functions like a vehicle, but also the limb of a robot is not a simple process. And Dexter did it four times. This kid is nine. And then it had to be combat ready on top of that. There's just layers and layers of building when it comes to this thing. It's funny, because despite his intelligence, there's still one thing he can't solve. How did his mom get so thick? And we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. My socials will be in the description. And please tell me, do you like these inventions? Which one is your favorite? What are some others that I didn't mention in this video? Fire thoughts? Let me know in the comments.